hello again guys. As you can see, I'm in a lovely big field. I'm up in the Midlands with uh, Owen from Albion Camping, who you might see in the background doing his thing. A um, few of you might remember this field. Uh, I've been here a couple of times, done hot tenting and bell tent camp here. But uh, today, just using the um, truck setup, uh, just so easy and nice. Um, we've had a lot of rain lately, so we've got this awning out and we're probably going to put a tarp up as well wherever we're going to have a, either a campfire or a fire pit that I've got with me um, just in case and yeah there's a lot of wind but uh, we've just come on the corner here of this field and um, we're kind of setting up this side of the truck as a bit of a uh, wind break but yeah I think uh, just going to finish getting set up and uh, get a brew on Just coming over to have a little look at uh, Owen's setup. He's got, uh, what's it called? Erebus. Erebus Plus. Erebus Plus. It's a three man, so obviously you take one off, it's a good two man. It's very roomy. I've seen these before on YouTube and stuff, and uh, I always thought they were smaller than what they are. But they have bags of room. And this is its first time out in anger, isn't it? It is. I tried it in the garden a couple of times just to test it out, but I thought I'd, uh, thought I'd bring it today. Why not, eh? When you don't have to carry it. It's actually warmed right up out here, that sun out. It's been pretty cold the last few days. It will be cold tonight, but uh, right now it's lovely. But I've been processing a bit of wood. I've got <laughs> some gigantic bits of softwood I brought with me. And um, we just got some birch and stuff like that. I think I've got some bits of oak and chestnut in there as well. Um, so yeah, I will just have to break some down for kindling because there's kind of no real woodland here, just like a tree line because it's a field. But uh, we should have plenty for cooking on tonight and sitting around. Nice. This is one of them reasons I just love this tent. Get full panoramic views all the way around. And then there's the peasant down there on the ground. <laughs> there's an absolute abundance of stuff along this hedgerow, this tree line separating the fields here. Uh, we've got blackberries, hawthorn berries, even slows I think they are up there as well so I might collect some up in the morning to take home and do some fruit leather 
I actually love the Hawthorne and Blackberry fruit leather. Maybe even slows. I don't like gin, but maybe it's time to try slow gin. Time to for tea. We're both set up now on our second brew of the day. <laughs> Owen's all done over there. Say hello. Hello there. <laughs> um, yeah, so fire pit's dug, everything's set up. We're using the truck as a windbreak, and so we're on the side opposite from where the wind's coming from, because um, there's more field that way, really. But uh, it's, it's nice. Nice, peaceful spot, this. Looking forward to dinner. <laughs> I just wanted to show you I've got these um, leather protectors made. Uh, go on your Fuhr hand lantern and they've just got a poppers, brand new poppers, so a little tight. Just a way of protecting it when it's hanging off the pack and stuff like that, or like I've got in the car at the moment. I've got um, Paul Door to make them, who's done my uh, bedroll straps and uh, sleeve for the, um, for the Laplander and that. But I actually love them, really of protecting the glass and they certainly look the part. I use the new beast just to do some uh, small bits for kindling. Definitely is like an axe replacement. <laughs> yeah. Wanna go? Wanna yeah. play? Nice. We're starting to chill down now, so we thought might as well get the fire going. I'm just using fire lighters again for this. Just the kindling broken down. It's like Jenga.
Yatsi! <laughs> Cherry on top. <laughs> Time of year you start to appreciate a fire. Yeah, softwood on the bottom is starting to take already, isn't it? It is. There's a few bits of oak scattered in amongst all that and chestnut as well. Stick your stump on. <laughs> no. Hey! I've got the fire anchor with me again, just for uh, cooking and whatnot. Just very easy. So we'll just get that in. And I think we're going to get a brew on. We've got this new titanium kettle by Pomoli. It is a nice looking thing. So we're just going to use that. Burn it in. Oh, <laughs> let's do a little dance. Yep. Get down tonight. Holds quite a lot. Right, it's not too much in terms of prep to do today. I've only got my little open all here. So I'm just gonna slice up the onion because we're having burgers. Again, yes, but this is why I had burgers before because we couldn't do this camp. So I ate them. <laughs> so just lock that off. That's one half. And I'm just gonna slice these up. I don't have to do anything fancy. Ready with the grill here, so got some onions and some oil there. And we go on with the burgers. Time to flip these. Good. Cooking very evenly. Oh, smoke in the eyes. Oh, looking good. I'm just gonna take these onions off so we can toast the uh, buns. And we've got brioche. Let's see how many of these we can fit on. Might be one short if we could just move them forwards. I reckon we could do it. <laughs> yeah. Probably a good time to cheese them up too. Uh. 
and boom. Right, burger time. Oh no, that's mine. <laughs> well saved. Only a little bit of grass. Well saved. <laughs> Thank you. And our onions. Onions, sir? Yes, please. Thank you very much. It's the onions, I know, the smell. Like a fair or something. They look and smell delicious. Boom. Boom. Well, I've had one burger already and I've broken op open the um, American Palau uh, shipyard. Been enjoying these lately and Owen's got a, a good old brew dog. Mm. Uh, but these are if I do say so, pretty perfectly cooked. <laughs> mm. Yep, delicious burgers. We've been chilling by the fire here for, well, a good couple of hours after dinner, which has finally settled down. <laughs> I've stuffed for so long. But um, yeah, I've, I haven't seen Owen in nearly two years now, so we've just been catching up mostly. Um, so not been much to film really after dinner. But uh, we've had a beer and that, and we yep. could catch up and a chin wag over a nice campfire. Yeah, it's been a good laugh. It has chilled down a bit, so the campfire has been nice, and I've got the jacket on there as well. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to finish this beer, maybe have a um, hot chocolate before going to bed. Cheers. Warm your cockles. Yeah, definitely.
Little. Good morning, sir. <laughs> How did you sleep? Good, thank you. Oh, dear. <sighs> Almost the morning routine is done now. Um, Owen's just uh, packed his tent away. Mine's emptied out, just needs folding over really. And um, it's time just to break down a little bit of wood, uh, start a fire, and cook breakfast. Been looking forward to this, doing a proper full English today for the two of us. It's supposed to be a little bit sunnier than this today, but it's fine. It's not overly cold. It wasn't cold last night really, not like it has been. Did absolutely fine. Um, yeah, just had my thermal layer on, which I normally sleep in. Lovely, very comfortable. So yeah, just gonna break down some wood, get going. You can see the clay from the ground baked into kind of the light bricks last night. There's a few of them in there. Let me just get this started. Just using fire lighters again. Yes. finger. Yeah. Let's see how well she does as a bread knife. Not bad. <laughs> right, gonna go on with the meats. First the sausages. Guess I'll wait a minute for the bacon. Just gonna start them potatoes frying on the, the lower grill. Going with some of that bacon now. Nice and streaky.
that's everything coming together and nearly ready now just need to serve it up Potatoes, sir. Oh, one on the floor. Try not to get the old oil. Oh, there you come. Yoink. <laughs> Yoink. We are both stuffed. <laughs> I was absolutely starving, so I didn't film any of the eating or anything. So, oh, yeah, all of that, well, nearly all of that in a cup of tea. That's really nice, thank you. Thank you. I mean, provided breakfast, I cooked breakfast. Oh rest just gonna chill for a half hour <laughs> warmed up a bit now so don't even need the fire This is such a plentiful hedgerow, it's lovely. Getting loads. Now we've got quite a good um, selection of them slows, blackberries, and the uh, hawthorn berries as well. Not very nice on their own, but mixed with the blackberries to make fruit leather, works really well. If you don't know hawthorn leaves, that's not the best example of a hawthorn leaf there. They're kind of have these lobes going up. That's probably a better example there. But these are quite small these leaves here. But yeah mixed together fruit leather like I've done on the channel before really nice dried out nice and chewy or a fruit jerky whatever you'd like to call it.
that's us all done, all packed away. Another camp done, just the drive home now. It's been a lovely one, a nice out in the open, less claustrophobic and uh, see them big skies. But yeah, cheers to Owen for having me up. Yeah, thank you very much. Indeed, and I'll see you guys next time.